Remember, we don't have good morning. So it's just, did you make it through the night okay? Did you make it to the morning? Did you make it through the night? Okay, let's go through our sounds. Remember, the sounds are going to get redundant. Okay. Remember, these are letters representing sounds. Ah, chi, i, e, fi, he, a, he, li, mi, ni, o, b, thi, c, d, u, a, we, ye. Remember those now. <laughs> those are single sounds. And our language is through sounds, just like when we say Diniki, Diniki, Diniki is thunder. Doctolosi is chicken. Dochinen is three. Okay. So make sure that you study these on your own. You got to study them. That's the only way. <laughs> okay. When you put those two single sounds together, you get cha. G, J, Jo, Ju, Ja, Fa, Fi, Fe, Fo, Bu, Ba, Ga, Ki, Ge, Go, Gu, Ga. <coughs> Excuse me. Ha, He, Hey, Ho, Hu, Ha, La, Li, Le. Lo, lu, la, legibus, ma, me, me, mo, mu, ma, na, ni, ne, no, nu, na, ba, bi, be, bo, bu, ba, ta, ti, te, to, tu, ta. Sa, si, se, so, su, sa. Da, di, de, do, du, da. Wa, we, we, wo, wu, wa. Ya, yi, ye, yo, you, ya. Okay, this is where it's going to get little. But remember, all these sounds... It's in the Muscogee language. They sound kind of sound silly when you're saying them, but they're every one of them is in the language. Okay, and every word, these sounds are in there. Okay. Off, if, if, off, oof, uff, ock, eek, ache, oak, ook, uck, al, il, el, ol. Ul al am im aim om um um an in ain on un un ab eb ab ob ub ab as is es os us as at it eight ot ut at Okay, every one of these sounds are in a word, are in a word. So, you got to learn these sounds. Remember, we're going to go over them before every class until it gets redundant. And you're going to find out, you know, right now you're probably saying, oh, this language class is boring because well, all we do is sounds. All we do is sounds, sounds, sounds. Later on, about four or five weeks down the road, you're going to find out that you need these sounds. You're going to need it. Later on, you will find out you need these sounds, okay? We're going to do two syllable sounds, okay? These are all words now. But if you looked at your sound paper, at the two-letter word sounds, and look at it 
you will see these words in every one of those. Like hawk, nuggety, ayo. Remember that? Oh, ayo. How many? Afki. They were in there, remember? Of, e, f, ki, ka, e, k. They were in there. You. Jimmy. Rabbit. Jofi. Fox. Jola. Trout. Jalo. Mouth. Jokwa. You have all these sounds in that paper that I gave you. Red. House. Jogo. See there? They're in there. And you wouldn't know how to pronounce these if it wasn't for those sounds you got. You would, you would have to have these sounds in order to enunciate these words. Because I had somebody one day called a deer. Eco. Eco. That is eco in English. But it didn't mean deer. When they told me deer, it was ijo. 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 Mm -hmm. Gun. Itcha. And there's no silent sound, but like this, and you don't hear that D in there, but your D is in your, it, your tongue is on top of the palate. Itcha. Itcha. And that's where tongue placement. You have to pay attention when you're a speaker and you're speaking. You never pay attention where your tongue is or your mouth is, but we need to. Because that it ja. You don't really hear it, but you feel it. It ja. That T is right here. Out on the top of your palate. Another. Ida. 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 Husband. E -he. E -he. Body. In a blaze, bingi, duck, fujo, shark, fusty, right, butcha, butcha, Okay, here we go. Rain, oski, Well, we had plenty of that the other day, didn't we? Oski, oski, ow, oba. Real Oba. Oh, Oba. Hickory. OG. OG. Chestnut. Odo. Odo. Uh -huh. We. Oh, finished. Bogey. Bo Bogey. Uh -huh. Bogey. Tomorrow. Boxy. Boxy. Pigeon. Budgie. Remember the. Uh, Budgie. Uh -huh. Here we go. Cat. Or see. Black drink. Basa. Basa. Uh -huh. Okay, let's go up here. Me. Ani. Snail. Ada. Ada. Uh -huh. Corn. Aji. Potato. Okay, here we go. Buckeye. Allah. <laughs> Allah. Wolf. Yeah. Yeah. Fork. Yeah. Okay. This right here, fork, is Chufunwa. But what they're saying right here when they're saying yapi, it means like even a branch like this or a road. Yapi. It's going like this. So a fork actually, it depends on what kind of fork you're talking about. A fork that you eat with is Chufunwa. Okay, but here they're talking about where it's like this. That's that's fourth dom. So that's what they're talking about here. Okay, <clears throat> that's kind of confusing, you know, for first learners. Like this. Okay, cow, raccoon, what go. <laughs> I have a fellow what's going here. And okay, by the way, I have a friend that just showed up. We've been texting for four years, never met each other face to face. 
and he came in from Florida and we finally met. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Justin yeah. King, his name is Justin <laughs> King. And, and finally we're meeting face to face. Just been texting each other all these years. <laughs> been nice. <laughs> okay. We're going to start on three syllable words. This is where you're going to learn how these words come about. Okay? It's a doorway. A hokey. A hokey. And this is a descriptive word. It means like not a hokey. Like this. It's called a, a hokey, but the wall. It's got a hole in it. So it says a hokey. You look confused. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's descriptive saying that there's a, a hole in like in that wall, a hokey. So ho hokey is the wall. A hokey means open. Open, okay. But a hokey means there's a hole in a wall or you know, in a wall mostly. And so see this doorway is got a hole in the wall. That's what that is, a whole beat. So it's open there. There's an opening. Okay, mud hole. Okay. <laughs> mud hole, this is it says uh, should be just a hole in the ground. Okay, a hoagie in a wall is a doorway, like in the wall. It's opened up the wall. But okay, look at this spelling. Ak hogi. Ak hogi. Means there's a, a opening in the ground. Something deep. Okay. It's in the ground or on the surface, you want to say. Okay. So here, see how these ak hogi. See how those sounds are coming in? Ak hogi. A hole. Aksufti. Aksufti. A pond. Akhasi. Anything that's got that ak in it, it means it's down. There's a hole like right there. Akhasi. Okay. A feel. Jabulfa. Okay, y'all guys, sound these out now using your sound. Okay, because look, Jabulfa. See how those sounds are coming in? Jabulfa. Well, it as in health, like you're a healthy person. Uh huh. Jafik me. See how these sounds are coming in? A bell. Jump. Uh huh. Jump. Jaga. Okay, remember I said there's no silent sound. <clears throat> and you're wondering where this he came in. When you say it, that he is right here. Jump. Jump. It's like a. It's just there. Jump. Jaga. Jump. Jaga. A boy. Jibani. Jibani. Okay, Chibani is a boy. A bridal. Juksaka. Juksaka. Uh huh. Juksaka. Question. I have a question on uh, a boy. Uh huh. You said Chibani. Uh, it's not Chibani. Yes, it is. Uh -huh. See, that's why everybody, uh, I was going to explain that, but I, you know, I was wanting to see if somebody caught it. Good for you. Okay. Jibani is a gender. Like, what did you have? You know, Jibani, I had a board. But Jibani is a name that we give to boys. Like, I named my little grandson Jibani, and he knows it. I'll say, Jibani? You know, and he knows it, but Chibani is a gender, saying a male. So for Chibani with the uh, B and A? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it should be Chibani for a boy, a gender boy. 
Is that any questions so far, guys out there? Y'all have any questions? You have any questions? Ask now. Now, see, this was a good question that she asked because I was hoping somebody would say something there. Okay. Angry or mad? Jabaki. Jabaki. Remember, you're learning sounds at the same time and learning words. Okay, you're learning words and sounds at the same time. Ridge. Uh-huh. That's like a ridge off of something. Okay. A son. Ipuji. Uh-huh. His heart. Ifigi, but now just the heart in general is figi, figi, uh huh. But this is saying his heart, ifigi, okay. A child, istuji, istuji. And remember what I said. What makes something little? Uji at the end, yeah. Uji at the end, istuji. A handkerchief. Inochka. Uh huh. Uh huh. Inochka. Who? Istima. Uh huh. When you put that tone in there now, remember we had tones. Istima. Hear that? Istima. Istima. Before him. Ihoma. Uh huh. Ihoma. He see that? Ihoma. Behind him. Iyoba. Uh -huh. Under him. Elijah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Elijah. His brain. Igalbi. Igalbi. But remember, a brain in just, just the brain in general, just the word brain is galbi. But this is saying his brain, so it's saying igalbi. Okay, uh, food. Home better. Bad or ugly? Holwagi. Uh -huh. A brook or stream? Hachoji. Yeah. Okay, y'all guys, it's online. Do y'all do y'all see where we're trying to go with this? Anybody? Yes. Okay, yeah. so are y'all trying to say this along with us? I am. <laughs> oh, good, good. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Alexis, are you saying these with us? Uh -huh, but I don't, I don't turn my microphone on because I don't want the feedback. <laughs> okay, what about you, Anita? Jennifer? Yes, I am. Just okay. hard because I'm driving. <laughs> uh, do, do you see where we're doing, you know, breaking it up in sounds, where these sounds are coming in, but learning words at the same time? Yes. All right. I know. That's what I want y'all to do is learning words at the same time, but using these sounds to pronounce these words. Okay. Okay. Let's go back to bad and ugly. Holwagi. I have member. Holwagi. Okay. A brook or a stream? Hachoji. Clean. Uh -huh. So, ha shut ki. Far away. Uh huh. Ho be ye. East. Uh huh. Ha so sa. Ice, snow, or frost. He do di. He do di. A little girl. Ho do chi. A peri. Hayako, a grave. Hobilga. Uh huh. Hobilga. Alligator. Halbada. 
Uh -huh. To be corn. Hojida. Hojida. And that's where you got that, you know, that, what do you call it? Not right out of my head where you pound the corn, but don't know that be uh huh. Hojida. Okay. To stand. We did that. To boil. Both did that. Short and high. Yeah. Go joke me. Beads. Go nawa. Cold. Go suppy. To break. Okay. To break is for bunny that. Oh, bunny that, but to break is like something long. Kajida manga is to break it in half. There's a difference, okay? So kajida means to break like this stick. If I broke it, that's kajida. But that's where it's like to break in half on kajida. Slippery elm. Lobaga. <laughs> Very good. Machi. Okay, everybody out there doing it with us? Yes. All right, Machi, yes. very good. Okay, a broom. Isposka. See that? Isposka. E C B A C K A. Isposka. A ground or a world, the world. Igana, Igana, fruit. Lokchi. It says in Lokchi, but you would have to add a ido in Lokchi if you said in Lokchi. So you would just say Lokchi, okay? A handle. Imabi. Imabi. Ooh, this is hard one now. Garden hoe. Is liga. Yeah, it's liga. The last or the end? It's spoggy. It's spoggy. We got some hymns like that. It's spoggy. Uh -huh. It's spoggy. Yes. Would you pronounce garden again? It's liga. It's liga. It's not. It's Where it is, it's liga. It's liga. It's liga. Hear that? Uh huh. It's sluga. <laughs> I call it a sluga. Because <laughs> you can't stand there and go, it's luli. <laughs> Some of these is hard to do when you're doing it by sound. So, you know, you have one way of talking, and then this is the right way, though. You know. But to say it, you know, boy, you got to fix that lip. <laughs> Coco, those are good <laughs> Okay. Uh, what was that? His neck? Inokwa. Okay. This is in general, just when you say it's just nokwa, this neck is nokwa. But when you say his neck, you're saying, Inokwa, okay, inokwa, like uh, that would be third person, janokwa, no, second person, inokwa, uh huh, so inokwa, a pin, is joga, that's an old word, instead, you know, they say riding is hoche chida. But this is choka. It means riding too, but it's an old Creek word. <laughs> it's choka. Uh huh. It's an old Creek word, but now we use hoche jida or, you know, it's hoche jida. It's choka. <laughs> a pen, or I mean a pencil. It's shotka. Okay. A pencil is. Short, it's short, and 
Ishadka means like to mark something like shot it. I don't know if y'all ever been to a ground, but you know, when they made a point, they put it on ground that's shot ishadka. Mm -hmm. A comb. Okay. It's all that. That's what they used to call a comb, and you know why? Call a pitchka. Pitchka <laughs> is a uh, lice. Oh. So when they remember when they combed it, it's all that. But actually, it's called skashka. Skashka is a comb. But they call it Ishoga back then because it got rid of, you know, they got rid of their uh, bugs, you know, they called it Ishoga. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and I guess maybe, you know, back then they had, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> that, uh -huh. that uh, root word for the last for in, like Ishoga? Um, Get rid of the bugs? It's, uh -huh. Yeah, it, it's a derived from that word, it's foga, but it's foggy, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's foga means to get rid of, it's foggy means the last of, okay, does that make sense, okay, how about you, Judy, does that make sense, mm -hmm. okay, a rib, and this is like my rib, uh, your rib, or a cow rib, pig rib, in dollar, okay, in dollar, mm -hmm. so like if you're here, I've been Barbecued ribs, you would say shokha indala. See, I'm eating shokha indala. You're eating pig ribs, okay? Most of the time, it's pork anyway, so you would say shokha indala, you know. Okay, a drink. To iskida is to drink. To die. Ilida. 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 A bottle. Falasco. Falasco. Uh-huh. To whistle, fukida, to blow, fukida, uh huh, fukida, uh huh. What about a beehive? Fukudi, four, four, fukudi, four, four, fukudi, uh huh. And uh, you don't see those anywhere anymore. But me, my husband went out in the woods one day down from our house, and he said there was one by the street. And about that big rent mm. hanging off of a tree. And uh, I said, You didn't try to take it because he's like Fred Stanford. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I wasn't about to touch it. <laughs> he said, I ain't about to touch it. Uh, I said, Why didn't you bring it back? You know, because he said that thing was tough as me. Um, to sprinkle. And that's like when you get right here, like fish kida. To sprinkle, that's when you like get water and sprinkle it. So what is that? Fiskida. Fiskida. To rest. Figapka. See that? Figapka. Pretty. Hintoshi. Medicine. Hiliswa. A man. Now, this is a gender, okay? This is a gender because man in some is isti. But this is a gender. Okay? This is meaning a gender. The moon. To run. To set. New. Mojasi. Uh huh. Button. Malumha. Malumha. And that and that's a descriptive word. That's just saying it's laying on. Because they do, they just lay on you. Sure. Malumha. It's a descriptive word. It's just laying on your shirt. <laughs> Truth. Mahinwa. Yeah. A patch. Malega. Uh-huh. Okay, look here. Button is malumha, laying on there. Malega means laying on it. 
<laughs> so y'all are learning words, definitions, and sounds. Learning how to use these sounds at the same time, okay? Uh, jug. Modisa. 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 Modisa, that's that, you know, that crock, that ceramic crock that they used to put soft in. Mm -hmm. And, you know, most old ladies had it, you know. They kept soft in it, too. They kept soft in there. Modisa. To grow. Mahida. Mahida. I'm not going to challenge them. I'm usually going to challenge them. What is go globular or rounded? No, okay. Now I'm going to do that and I'm going to challenge that. No gufti is like this. When you make a fist, that's no gufti. To me, go globular or rounded is boloksi. Boloksi. But this is no gufti. When you make a fist, it's no gufti. Okay? So along the way, I'm going to be <laughs> correcting some of this. <laughs> And it may not even be right, but that's how I was taught, okay? That's what I learned all my life, okay? No gufti. Uh-huh. So you're saying that the rounded we're learning today is a no gufti. It's full gufti. Yeah. Round, rounded or gobbler is boloxi. Let me draw on this. This one. This up here. Okay. Okay, try to get Ooh, we got six messages. Ooh, what they say. Oh look see. Oh look see is rounded. Okay. 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 So rounded and globular is boloxi. <laughs> okay, you say that now. <laughs> boloxi. Okay. This is this right there. Boloxi. But no gufti is when you make a fist. When you make a fist, that's no gufti, okay? No gufti. <coughs> a bear, no gufti. Uh -huh. Horse, no gufti. Uh -huh. And no <coughs> gufti is like a descriptive word, kid. It's like your no gufti. Like it's lost. No <laughs> gufti. And, and that's descriptive. Pelican. This is descriptive word. Sound it out. Nok sokja. Nok sokja. And this is uh, descriptive. Nok is short for nokwa. Mm -hmm. And sokja is a bag. So it's saying neck bag. <laughs> <laughs> Neck bag is what it's saying. See, a lot of these we didn't have words for, especially in areas that we didn't see. We, we might not have had pelicans in our area, in back in the homelands, maybe. So when they saw it, they didn't know what it was. So they said, It's a mafushwa. No more you. And they might have said, Look at that bird. It's next got a bag on it. <laughs> so, you know, they just called it no shokta. So that's what that is. It's descriptive. To sleep. No jida. No to buy. Nisida. Yeah. Nisida. See? All or everyone. Omalga. Omalga. Uh -huh. Juice. Oboswa. And you can add this to anything like an orange. Yalaha uh, oboshwa, that's orange juice. Shalafa uh, oboshwa, that's apple juice. See, you can use that. 
Okay. Uh, San. Oktaha. And you know, Oktaha, that little town by Muskogee, Oktaha, that's Oktaha. It's got, it's a Greek word. Oktaha is actually Oktaha. Okay, what about a crow? Osha. Hear that? Oshawa. Oshawa. Any questions, guys? Any questions? Any questions? How do you say lid and cover? Lid. Oksanga. Oh, we missed that, didn't we? Oksanga. See it? Oksanga. Oksanga. Lid or cover. And that could be for a pot, you know. Oksanga, like your pot, lid, mm -hmm. on your pot lid, you know, shorty pot oksanga. Shorty pot oksanga. That's a lid or a cover. So, so, any questions so far? Any questions? Anybody have any questions? Okay, I got a question. Are you saying oh or oh? It depends on how it's spelled and the sound is. Say like uh, right here, oh, 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 thunga. That's a O, but right here where it's pelican, nook, hear that G? Nook, sook, ja. I think she's asking because dialects are different. Yeah, some dialects are different, yeah. yeah. Like me and my coworkers, we're from the same town. So like when we say table, we say ok humbida. But in the dictionary stuff, it says ok humbida. So it's how you heard it, how we were taught. So there's a difference, but it's understood among all speakers what we're talking about. So if I said Okumbida to Janet, Janice, she would know. Janet, she would know what I'm talking about. But dialect and how you heard it. So like me and my co-workers and like chair, they say Oklegida, but we say Oklegida. <laughs> Uh-huh. So there's a difference there. Is that answer your question? So sometimes it's just how we heard it and you know how we uh how we were taught, you know, in dialect around different areas. And us Hannah people <laughs> we are from down south. <laughs> and every one of us in here that speaks are from Hannah area. <laughs> there was a when you're doing the two syllable words. Uh -huh. There were some words that weren't on the aren't in the packet that like, were on the board. Oh yeah, there's not some up there. It's just you okay. know we're just going through this. I'm trying to really actually teach you how these sounds work. Well, and some why. up there weren't in our packet. Okay. Which one do I did? Like uh, like right there with the. None of those were in this package. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah probably in the previous class. Okay, next. Oksidawa. We're going to do introduction. Oh, no, not tomorrow. Not tomorrow, be Friday. Friday, we're going to do introduction. And tomorrow, Coco will go over your sounds with you because tomorrow I have to. I got some business to do, so I won't be here, but Coco will be teaching the class and she'll go over the sounds with you. And then Friday, Friday, that's when we're going to do introduction. We're going to start, we're going to tell our name, we're going to tell our clan and how to introduce ourselves. Okay. So any questions so far?
Or just you know, y'all guys ask me, okay? Ask me. I'm not afraid to answer your question, Naga. How about that? Maybe the uh, wouldn't that be like like if I say go get a chair, I would say okay. Maybe the thighs. Uh-huh. Go get the chair. Uh-huh. Both leg and the thighs. Uh-huh. Like that. Over like that. I say over like that. Uh, do you? Okay, see, the dictionary says over But when we spot, we say over like that. So it's maybe an area. If, if you needed a chair, you say over like the ostlers. No, you would say chair. I need a chair. Yeah. I just need a chair. I need a chair. Ostlers yeah. means when you can pass something. Yeah. 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 Okay. Any questions, guys? Gaino, you got any questions? Jinda, Ashley? No, no, thank you. All right. Yeah. Clan Tribal Town introductions on Friday. Yep. Any more? Are we good? One minute. I want to say my dog to everybody. Yeah, but not that. I got it on Donga. Keep it, no one. Keep it. Go away, though. This, this language is very valuable, and learning it is something we need to do. It'd be good if we could learn it. So I'm going to go, everybody, for coming in and taking this class. Everybody. My dog, you get against Jay.